All right, so in this video, I'm going to show how the ideal gas law can be used to calculate the molar mass of a gas. And rather than explain any kind of theoretical background or anything like that, I'm just going to jump straight into a problem. So here's the problem. So a gas sample has a mass of 9.98 grams. Its volume is 21.6 liters at a temperature of 75.46 uh, degrees Celsius and a pressure of 641 torr. Find its molar mass. So as I said before, we're going to be using the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. So it's a good idea to start by just identifying all of your variables. So in the ideal gas law equation, PV equals nRT, uh, my P pressure, it says that that is uh, 641 torr. My volume, which is also given, is 21.6 liters. My amount in moles, uh, that doesn't appear to be given anywhere, so I'll skip that one for now. My R, that's just my uh, gas constant, which is 0 0.08206 liters times atmospheres over moles times kelvins. And notice that our gas constant contains the unit uh, atmospheres as the pressure unit. So that means we have to convert this 641 torr into atmospheres. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we have 760 torr is uh, equivalent to one atmosphere. Tors cancels with tors, and we end up getting a pressure of 0.843 atmospheres. So now we have our uh, s uh, pressure successfully converted in, uh, into atmospheres. So we have the P, the V, the R. Let's see if we can find the T. Yep, sure enough, the temperature is given. That is T equals 75.46 degrees Celsius. And our gas constant, once again, has different units. Uh, it has kelvins. So to get uh, 75.46 degrees uh, Celsius in kelvins, we're simply going to add uh, 273.15. And that result is going to give us 348.61 kelvins. So now we have all the right units. So we have pressure, we have volume, uh, we have the gas constant, that's always known, and then we have temperature. So the only thing uh, that, we're, that we don't have that we're trying to figure out so far is the, num the amount in moles. So this is what's going to lead us to find uh, the molar mass. So if we solve for N in the equation PV equals nRT, that is as simple as dividing both sides of the equation by RT, and we'll get that N is equal to uh, PV over RT. So now we can uh, just simply plug in all the values and solve for N. So I'm going to get that N is equal to PV, so that my pressure is uh, 0.843 atmospheres. My volume is uh, 21.6 liters. My gas constant, R, is 0 0.08206 uh, liters times atmospheres over moles times kelvins. Whoops. And then my temperature is uh, 348 0.61 Kelvin. And let's just make sure that we end up with moles. Atmospheres cancel, okay, liters cancel, and Kelvins cancel. So we end up with nothing but the uh, moles. And it turns out that this number in moles is going to be 0. 0.636 moles. 
And normally when I try to explain concepts, I don't really I don't really bother using the correct number of significant figures. But in this problem, I wanted to, wanted to do it 100% right. And notice that out of all four of these terms, the fewest significant figures out of all of those is three. Uh, this one up here and this one up here both have three sig figs, and we carry the fewest number, so our answer is also going to have three sig figs. So that gives us the amount in moles. So we're almost done. Uh, all we have to do is calculate the molar mass of this thing. And I'm going to try to squeeze it in at the bottom. The molar mass, actually, you know what? I'm just going to erase all of this stuff instead. So our N is equal to 0.636 moles. So remember that our molar mass, which is uh, capital M, is equal to the mass divided by the number in moles. And if you think back to the original problem, the mass is actually given. It says a gas sample has a mass of 9.98 grams. So I'm going to fill that in. We have 9.98 grams over the number of moles, which is 0.636 moles. And we end up getting about, uh, actually not about, exactly, well not exactly, but with the correct number of sig figs, which in this case is three, both this number and this number have three significant figures, is 15.7 grams per mole. So that is the correct way to uh, use the ideal gas law uh, to solve for the molar mass of a gas, given the pressure, the volume, and the temperature. The gas constant, that's all, that'll always be known.